Good morning. Um, this is Adam Barrett, also known as ADSB, and he's giving a talk. Afterwards, um, if you guys want to wait, we have some lovely prizes in the front for people who came. So, uh, sounds all right. Morning, and welcome to Bits from the Release Team. Um, a quick overview of what we're planning on talking about, um, largely updating us with uh, where we are on Squeeze now and where we're planning to go forward from here. Um, quick first thing, since last DevConf, there have been a few changes to the team, most of which I'm mostly aware of. Um, Datto and Luke both stepped back from being release managers, although Luke has now um, agreed to join us and stay on as a release wizard and help out with the release, which we're very grateful for. And i very grateful for both of their work. Um, in Debian to this point. Um, and we've decided to formalize what I think most people have assumed for a while, and I know the press team have actually been sending out this fact for a while, um, and that I'm officially going to become release manager, um, with Neil helping out us a second so that we have two release managers again formally. Um, we've also, sorry, indeed, we've also had a few changes um, correspondingly on the assistant side. Um, Yuri, as you know, has decided to um, spend more of his time looking after the Spark port, which needs it. Um, and we now have two new release assistants, Mehdi, um, and very recently Julian Christo has joined us as an assistant to help out. Uh, very quick, I hope, go through the release goals. Um, the very good definition I thought of release goal recently was it's a horizontal transition. Uh, it's something that's spread out rather than being like a localized to a set of packages spread out across the project of things that we'd like to get done for a release. Um, that won't block the release, but are still candidates for NMUs for people updating packages to help them work with those. First one, we have K3BSD, which is the first, well, the second um, non-Linux port, but the first one that's approaching a releasable state. Um, still a few issues with it at the moment. The known ones are uh, DI isn't localized at the moment, so you, as long as you're happy installing it in English, that's fine. Um, there's a few things you might expect, like Bluetooth and Fuse, that don't work at the moment. And sometimes you have to, you have to restart your display manager after boot to get the keyboard to work. But, uh, one of the others was boot performance. So as a small note, there's an interesting priority issue in that um, we've only got a required package now, depending on an optional one, which isn't particularly great. Um, and one of the other things was moving to Dash um, as the boot shell to make things quicker as well. Uh, well, there's still some cases where the migration over from Bash doesn't quite work properly, which we need to sort out. Um, and an issue with read-only scripts. <coughs> and package quality, there's, particularly recently, there's now uninstallability checks being run daily um, by EDOS which they're filing bugs against packages which are currently uninstallable in SID at the moment. Um, so you know, the, arch <coughs> the archive is now also using um, Lynchian to re auto reject packages that don't meet certain um, quality targets. And we also have archive rebuilds being run several times a year, sometimes just because Lucas feels like it, and sometimes to test particular changes that have happened recently in the archive. Uh, Multi-arch, not quite there yet, still working on it. There have been some um, changes recently in experimentals on the app side, which um, look very promising. And we've finally got rid of GTK 1.2, which... There's a few other older libraries that we'd still like to get rid of that we haven't quite got there yet, but see any help on getting rid of those, welcome. 
full IPv6 support is the release goal we've had for a while. I think things are improving, but we still don't have, we still have things that don't quite behave properly with IPv6, um, which need sorting. Uh, we did have a release goal to have the new D package source formats used by default for all packages, um, which has now been dropped. Obviously, the, uh, we still got all the work on the new formats. And I think Raphael's still encouraging everyone to use them, but they're not proposing to use them as the default for all packages anymore. Uh, like was getting rid of um, libtool LA files, it's going very well, but there are still quite a few packages that we need that need some work on that side. And finally, large file support, which mostly getting there. There's about a dozen open bugs at the moment. So where are we with transitions and what we've been trying to get done? Uh, in terms of what's already been done for Squeeze, that's a very incomplete list. I realize this, but we couldn't fit everything on, so we decided to pick out a few things. Uh, we've got new versions of KDE, Gnome and X, um, Python 2.6 by default, which was fun, but finally got there. Um, and the new versions of DHCP and dependency-based boot um, to allow things to be paralyzed during startup and hopefully, again, make the boot process faster. Um, we've got a few things that that's roughly where we are with what's still um, ongoing at the moment. It's not looking too bad, I think. Right, so how can you help with the release and the app? First thing, so I know it sounds obvious, but please don't introduce any new transitions at the moment. We've still got to work out, sort out the ones we've got, and get those into testing, and we could do without um, adding new ones, particularly as they have a habit of getting tied together, so we end up having to move three or four different transitions in at the same time, which takes longer and makes life interesting. Uh, if your package is involved in the transition, please don't upload new versions um, without talking to us if the, mic, if the transition hasn't finished yet because you could delay it or unsaid, otherwise get it um, accidentally tied together with an existing transition. If you're not sure, please ask. We're quite happy to tell you. Um, there's also, courtesy of Mehdi and Stefan Glondu, who works in a web page where you can keep track of what transitions are ongoing and um, which package is involved in them, and that sort of thing. Don't upload things to Unstable that you don't want to be released. It's primary, I think. Unstable at the moment should be largely viewed as what we want, things that we want to migrate into testing and therefore into the release. So if you, if you don't think your package is ready, ready for the release or shouldn't be released in the form it is, don't upload it. Obviously, again, obvious, but everybody's been doing a very good job at fixing RC bugs recently. Um, the BSPs, various people doing their own personal um, bug squashing contests. Um, and of course, the DebConf um, bug contest, which I assume there will be some results for at some point. Um, and testing upgrades between Lenny and Squeeze, finding out what doesn't work, um, particularly so that where there are things that we know about that will have to be, uh, we can either get them sorted or at the very least documented in the release notes so that people know what to expect from upgrades. Uh, there is an upgrades report, pseudo reports, even pseudo package in the BTS, which you can file those against, um, which will help track this sort of issue. I think most people know this, but just as a brief recap, if you do want to get hold of us, there's um, a number of ways. You can either email us via Debian release at listdebian, um, find us on IRC, 
was generally somebody around it most times, or things like bin MUs, transitions, um, proposed updates, unblocking of any packages, etc. Um, there's scripts in report bug that will help file bugs with the right user tags and the information that's needed to make it easier for us to track things. I'm going a little faster than I expected. But. So, question we've been asked several times this week is, when are we freezing then? <laughs> Which I know there's been a certain amount of speculation about this week. Um, we looked at it We've had a number of discussions about when we should freeze, and there were two things that, two particular things to draw in mind. One, just state of current transitions, and how soon we think we can get those done, and with that, particularly without um, getting them blocked in unstable by other things, since we've got a multimedia transition that's blocked by SQLite at the moment. It's an ICU, which is actually blocked by Ruby, of all things. By about, you know, some of you have heard me moaning about this a little, but it's getting there. Um, and the count, number of outstanding LC bugs, which is still higher than I'd like, but very much been moving in the right direction very much recently, despite the um, attempts of some people with... Lucas filing yet another set of build failures and and the um, what was it oh yes the flash don't flash sources missing for various flash movies things and came to the conclusion that the easiest way to get all the transitions done was um, to not have any more transitions and just go with what we've got outstanding um, and that we're happy with the way the bug count is going and how things are improving. And the basic conclusion we came to is that we are freezing now. <laughs> I mean, there's still a fair bit of work to do. Said earlier, we've still got transitions that we need to get done in unstable, but we feel it's going to be significantly easier for everybody in particular if we can get those transitions done and then out the way without having to worry about well us and anybody else having to worry about whether it, a new upstream version of something is going to get in the way or um, anything else as with previous well as with Lenny anything that's in unstable now assuming it gets to a point where it would otherwise have transitioned will get a freeze exception so there's no need to worry about that. Um, was obviously RC bug fixes. Anything else that if you're unsure about whether something is suitable for upload to unstable now, again, please feel free to talk to us. Um, I know it's a sudden announcement, so if there were things that you were planning on uploading very soon now, then again, talk to us and it may be that we can be a little more generous for the short term in terms of that. And of course, where do we go from here? Well, that's the plan. It's a slightly simplistic version of what we're going to do, but that is largely the plan. Finish off all the outstanding transitions we have, or finish one way or the other, either get them done or, if necessary, decide that we can't, but I'd prefer to get them all done, obviously. Um, fix any of the remaining RC bugs, and then release. And then I'm going on holiday. So that's about it. Slightly earlier than I planned. Any questions? Oh dear. It would be you first, wouldn't it? Okay. So we freeze today. Yep. Do you have even any suggestion of when you'd like to release? 
I'd like to manage by the end of the year if we can do it. Cool. And are we thinking about doing a squeeze and a half release at some point? Maybe. I guess that I guess that's not yet. Not yet. <laughs> cool. Hello. Hi. What is a uh, next code name for a uh, squeeze plus one? <laughs> Not decided yet. Probably not Debbie and Barbie, but apart from that. Anyone else? We just stunned you all into silence. I didn't follow up all the discussion on Debian release. Um, what will be the schedule for the freeze? Will it be incremental as in the past or will it be intend to be faster than it used to be in the past? What will be the schedule for the freeze? Will there be some steps or? Uh, no, at the moment. Like usually, I would say, or something new? Uh, at the moment, everything is just frozen. So we've been here before. Uh, yep. I seem to remember that last year you promised us a release in March and there was a press announcement and about two yep. days later it was a, <laughs> no, no, we misspoke. Are we going to have a retraction in two days in the archive open or what's your level of confidence that you can hold to the freeze, bring the developer population with you? There's already been a few comments on IRC of what, what? Um, <laughs> How confident are you that we can pull this off? Right. I think it's a great idea, don't get me wrong, and I think that someone needs to stand up and say, we're doing this now, but you're going to get objections, and how firmly are you going to hold your position? Realise this, um, we're frozen. <laughs> I know. We were, we were fully aware when we took the decision, particularly with not having finished even the bits that we wanted to get done yet, um, that it was the right thing to do and that we're confident we can get what we need to do done, even under freeze. Um, does this mean that uh, we will not be doing a Perl 5.12 transition for uh, squeeze? There's a correct answer to this question, which is... <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was the correct answer. <laughs> Um, I think one of the comments is, uh, is, is why we've announced it now rather than giving a lot of notice. Um, th there's sort of two parts to this. Last year we gave a couple of weeks notice and we found that everybody were suddenly rushing to upload all their last minute changes and to beat the freeze deadline and that included using things like high urgency just to ensure that it doesn't spend time in testing and gets, sorry, it doesn't spend time in unstable and get through to testing. Um, a second bit is um, at the risk of losing my entire wireless connection if everyone checks their DDA mails, there's a lot more details in there. And, and one of the things we have is that we will be fairly forgiving in the first couple of weeks. Um, if there is a change you really, really, really need in testing and you haven't beat the fridge deadline, then, then come and talk to us. Um, we can help get packages into testing and what we actually want is just to get the best release we have out there, get the, get the newest software, and um, we, we think that by freezing now, that, that, that's the best way of doing that. But if, if there's something you really, really, really need, that, then come and talk to us. Hello, I have, I have a couple of questions from IRC. <laughs> <laughs> and Lunar is saying if free, freeze equals no new packages, or is there a small tolerance about it? And then Sigo is also uh, asking who's responsible for the names of Debian releases, and how is it decided? Um, in terms of new packages, as Neil said, um, depends. Certainly not now is not the time for 
major new upstream releases, things like that, but there are changes that you want to get in that otherwise probably might not meet the freeze in the short term, then certainly we're happy to look at. I suspect you mean completely new packages. Oh, uh, in which case, no. I think that's, I think that'd have to be a very convincing argument for redoing those. And it's largely been the, one of the few perks of being a release manager that you get to choose the name for the next release. Um, we haven't done it yet, no. Yeah. We, we've decided, we'll let you know. Any more questions? Anyone? Bueller? Oh. So when's the next release? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Yep. Um, if there's no more questions, anyone at all? No? Okay. I guess that's it. Let's uh Thanks. thanks.